beginning you are God Almighty that we may gather in your place to worship you we want to thank you because of giving us this chance your master want to come before you in the mighty name of the Lord we want to thank you are God Almighty because this placing your master that we may sit before your servants your master to be ministered to in the mighty name of the Lord I will surrender before you king of glory and we pray that we may bring a rhema word to your people we pray that we may bring a rhema word to your children your king of glory behold you have we have come into a house your master with different questions in our hands of Lord we pray that we may answer that oh God in the mighty name of the Lord we surrender to your master we surrender that you may take your place oh God may your spirit reign in this altar. May your spirit reign in this, in this ministry. May your spirit reign. Na kuingia katika kipindi kingine eh, cha Bible studies eh, that the Lord has prepared especially for me and for you that we may be edified through the word of God that the servants of the Lord have been prepared to eh, and I know even as we are going to do the references through the help also of our technicians are going to give us the scriptures through the screens and i know the lord is going to bless us together in jesus name otherwise god bless you let i just want to take this opportunity to welcome the servant of the lord that the lord has prepared particularly for the day that she, she may speak to our souls that we receive from the lord amen so ningependa kukaribisha kuomba sister esther to help her to bring the servant of the lord even to minister to us in Jesus' name. Let us appreciate them even as they come over in the mighty name of the Lord. Welcome, uh, Sister Nelly, even to minister to the people of God in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Welcome, welcome. God bless you. Which one is he, you see? This one. Uh, vile mmesikia naitwa Neli. Uh, Dedan is my husband na mimi ni mama ya watoto. Nashukuru Mungu kwa kunipatia nafasi ya kusimama katika haya madhabau na kukubali ni wanene. Na pia nashukuru uh, Bishop na Pastor kwa kutupatia hii neema na kukubali tukuje mali hapa kuabudu pamoja na nyinyi. Mungu awabariki pia nyinyi kwa kufika. Tunashukuru. Uh, nataka tu tuongee kuhusu prayers. Tulikuwa tunaongea na Bishop Jana. Akaniambia I can just talk a bit about prayers. Sijaona sijui pastor tutasa. So nimalize saa ngapi? Thank you so much. So tutaongea tu kidogo about uh, prayers. Na nataka tu tuongee tuangalie mambo ya scriptures uh, vile Mungu anataka tuombe na kwa nini tunaomba na ningependa tuombe pamoja kwa utukufu wa jina la Yesu. Tuombe. Baba yetu katika jina la Yesu Kristo wewe ukitie kwenye kiti cha enzi. Tumekuja katika madhabahu yako Bwana. Ni kwa maana unasema Bwana heri kukutafuta Bwana. Heri kukua kwa nyumba yako siku moja kuliko kukua pale nje siku elfu moja my father Lord we thank you for your blessings thank you for the day Lord that you have granted us almighty father to worship you this day mighty God we thank you Lord for your word says almighty father that this is the day that you made O oh God that we shall rejoice and be glad in it almighty father and thank you because your word says almighty father that every day has its own blessings according to the way you created the world O oh Lord Lord we thank you Jesus because the day of today mighty father we are going to partake our blessings almighty father the blessings almighty father that Lord, you created for today, Lord. We shall be partakers for the glory and honor of your name. Thank you for everyone, Almighty Father, that has reached unto your house to seek your face, Almighty Father. We give you praise, we give you all the glory, for there is nothing like none like you, King of Glory. We thank you, Lord, that we take power and authority, Mighty Father, that your word shall stand today, God. We come against every work of the enemy. We put them under our feet in the name of Jesus Christ, that they shall not have no power 
Almighty Father, in our minds, in our ears, Almighty Father, in our souls, Almighty Father, as we receive your word. We give you praise and we welcome your presence, O God. We welcome the presence of the Holy Spirit, Almighty Father, to take power and authority in this place, to take charge, Almighty God. In everything we shall do, Mighty Father, let your Holy Spirit take place, Almighty Father, in every corner of this house, O God. In every, Almighty Father, every seat, O God, every person, Almighty Father. Father, we are ready for you and we pray, Mighty Father, that you may refill us, O God, one more time, Lord. We thank you and we worship you, for it is in Jesus' name we pray and believe. Amen. Amen. Tunaiza tuku keti. Leni kuna mtu ameamua kunisumbua wakati nimefika kwa madhabahu. Nataka tusome tuanze tuna nataka tu tuonge mambo ya prayers. Let's read start reading by in the book of uh, Psalms. Nitajaribu nisome some kwa Kiswahili. Uh, Psalms 102 verse 8. Na wakati tulikuwa tunaomba uh, pale chini pasta nikubalie tu kwa sababu nimeona watu wakikuja huku wengi wakitoka kila upande na i believe itafika hivyo watu wata, watakuwa na jamali hapa ni watu ambao wamekani kama wamechukuliwa walikuwa anda uh, nitasema je walikuwa wanakuwa controlled lakini nikaona wamejirealize wamekuja mali hapa na tunamini hii place itajaa na itafurika kwa utukufu wa jina la Yesu amen uh, verse 8 uh, nataka tu, tuone ya kwamba tunafaa ku we should avoid uh, yani tukubali Mungu atutembelee ama tukae katika Mungu ama katika maombi wakati tunafanya maombi sana atuwezi tunaka kama upepo Bwana Yesu asifiwe unajua ukika kama upepo adui hawezi kukupata nani anaweza shika upepo hakuna mwenye anaweza shika upepo so we can be like the wind unaona vile mti huwa inaenda hivi kwa sababu inapelekwa na upepo Na hiyo upepo awezi kuiona na macho. So my point number one, wakati tunaomba mungu na tunaka katika mungu, adui awezi kutushika. Kwa sabu tutaka kama upepo, akikuja kutupata, he cannot hold us. Bonesa sifiwe. Na wakati mwingine unapata kwamba, mungu anatupatia hiyo wezo ya kutaonekana na adui. Bonesa sifiwe. Nataka tusome tu hiyo verse 8, Psalms uh, Itakuwa naenda tu a bit uh, raka raka kidogo ndio nisipitisha time Psalms chapter 102 verse 8 Adui zangu wananilaumu mchana kutwa wanao nichukia kana kwamba wana, wana wazimu wapa kwa, kwa kunitaja mimi Bonesa sifiwe The enemy may come in the night or in the day Unajua uh, tulikuwa tuna, tunaongea jana na watumishi wengine mali hapa tukiwa tunasherekea our sister Esther vile Mungu amemfungulia mlango tukisema ya kwamba mara mingi watu wa adui wana to chant the, the, the enemy the antichrist anaweza kukuona akumak sura ama akujue jina Bwana Yesu asifiwe Na anaweza kukushika ya kwamba ana kukontrol vile wanataka. Have you ever gone to those churches that uh, you, you, you ask yourself, what are these people doing there? Their brains are washed. Na hivyo ndivyo nilikuja ni katafakari ya kwamba wakati tumeka kama upepo, hakuna adui anaweza kuja atopate jina. Wakati mwingine anakuja tumepata kwamba tumejengewa ukuta. Anaeza tembea, apate kwamba hatupatikani. Wakati anaeza kuwa mekuja, the prayers that you, you prayed and placed in your store. Bonesa sifiwe. Niko sababu hakuna maombi huwa inaenda bure. 
Kuna mahali hiyo maombi inafanya kazi ya kwamba wakati hauna neema ya kuomba ama wakati unasikia kwamba umedhohofika. Mungu anatumia zile maombi ame ulikuwa umeweka pale. Bwana sifiwe. Na adui awezi kukuona. Unakaa kama kama hiyo pepo ambao you cannot hold it, you cannot not touch it. Sometimes hautaisikia maybe usikie upepo kwa mti ikipiga. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Kwa hivyo ninataka tu our point number one. That wish should be like the wind in our prayer times. Usikubali shetani ajue what you are going to pray about. Ni nini unataka kuomba mbele ya Mungu? How how prepared are you before the Lord? Mind yako we should focus our mind before the Lord. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Ya kwamba wakati wote tukiomba, hakuna wakati unasikia sometimes unasikia anga kama mlango imegonga, alafu unainua kichwa kuangalia. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Hapo utapata kwamba the enemy will hold you. Lakini when you are focused to pray and you look upon the Lord, the enemy cannot hold you. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Wacha tusome another book of uh, Ephesians chapter 18. Ephesians 18 Chapter 6 I mean verse 18 Praying always with all prayer and supplication in the spirit and watching there unto with all perseverance and supplication for all saints. Umesikia hapo supplication ime imerudiliwa sana. Uh, kwa Kiswahili I think supplication uh, inamaanisha kuomba. Kuna ile ile maybe maybe let me just I think tukisoma na Kiswahili tutaipata vizuri. Ephesians 6 Verse 8 inasema Mkijua ya kuwa kila neno jema ulitendayo mtu am I in the right place mm-hmm. Hilo aya mkijua ya kuwa kila neno jema ulitendalo mtu atapewa hilo lilo hilo na Bwana kwamba ni Aha, Kiswahili inanitatiza kidogo mtumwa au kwamba ni huru. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. There is this sipati kama nini nanipatia the, the right word. I no, I'm reading verse 8. I want verse 18. Ndio ninasikia ifanani. Kwa sala zote na maombi mkisali kila wakati katika roho. So when you pray maombi ni wakati wakati you plead with god wakati una, unaambia mungu mungu nisaidie yani uh, how do i put it in word you beg god you go before god you repeat the words same time bonesa sifiwe ndio hapa inasema ya kwamba wakati kwa sala zote na maombi mkisali kila wakati katika roho mkikesha kwa jambo hilo kudumu katika kuwaombea watakatifu wote Wakati wote tunaomba Mungu na wakati wote tunasimama mbele za Mungu kuomba. Tunaka tunafaa kukaa katika line ya Mungu ya kwamba we, we, we pray to God. We ask continuously, God, may you come. That perseverance, the supplication we make before God continuously that Lord, I know you will come down. You focus on your prayers. Ya kwamba inasema kwamba Uh, let me just read that point. In every prayer we pray, we should always be in the spirit. Ni kwa sababu tukiwa katika roho, Mungu atakuwa anatuongoza. You may repeat one prayer at the same time. Ama unarudia ndimi in tongues. Unapata kwamba umerudia hilo neno mara mbili, mara tatu. You are in the spirit, Bwana sifiwe. And when you are in the spirit, hautaomba kulingana na mapenzi yako. 
ama hautaomba kulingana na vile unafikiria bwana Yesu asifiwe na tunaendelea tukisema ya kwamba tunafaa kuangalia kwamba kila wakati tukiomba tukue watu ambao wako katika uh, uvumilivu be patient before the lord usifikirie ukikaa unasema na sasa mimi nataka kuomba Mungu atashuka sahihi anijibu haleluya wakati mwingine Mungu hata haongei ama usiki kama Mungu amefika mahali pale ama ameshuka kwako lakini you persevere before the lord when we supplicate before the lord and praying kneeling down or standing or the way you feel when you go before the lord maybe you are seated it's about communication how do you communicate with god mara mingi mimi usema the way you connect your spirit with the spirit of god because now god does not work in our uh, physical being god is now working in our spiritual being unapata ya kwamba wakati mingi how you will connect your spirit you don't have to shout you don't have to walk up much around you don't have to say much but the, your spirit will connect with the spirit of god when your spirit connects with the spirit of god that's when the lord comes down the holy spirit will come down and touch there is a connection with your spirit and the spirit of god now the spirit of god starts controlling your spirit praise the lord wakati mungu anaanza ku kufanya kazi na nafsi yako hapo ndio sasa Mungu anaanza kubadilisha hata nyama zako the flesh now your flesh will start changing because now you are praying according to the will of God you are connected your spirit is now connected with the spirit of God na wakati wote unaomba unaka chini unaombea the saints Bwana Yesu asifiwe who are the saints now Maybe utasema ya kwamba saints ni wale ambao wamekuwa watakatifu mbele ya Bwana. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. But have you ever prayed uh, unapata kwamba haukupanga kuombea pengine sister fulani. Lakini the spirit now brings that sister to you. Now you are starting to pray for the saints. The brother that you don't even know. The, the Holy Ghost now brings that person face. Now you start connecting and praying for the saints the saints of god are those people that god created wale ambao wanafanyia mungu kazi watakatifu wa mungu wale ambao wamekaa wakati mwingine hata umjui wakati mwingine hata hujai muona lakini mungu anashusha hiyo neema bwana yesu asifiwe there is a time uh, our reverend dr edward anatuambia sasa akihubiri anatuambia kwamba kama yeye akisimama hapo the whole of you pray for me just mentioning a word bless dr edward ni kama pastor triza hapa akisimama hapa nyinyi wote mseme bless pastor triza you are praying for the saint now she is the priest not only the saint but the priest bodesa sifiwe so that connection haiwezi kuja kama wewe mwenyewe hauja kubali to be connected with the holy spirit Hallelujah that your spirit has not connected with the spirit of God the moment your spirit connects with the spirit of God you will not now pray according to the way you know how to pray the holy spirit takes charge now you start talking things that you don't even know but your your mouth your lips your tongue just confess things praise the lord uh verse uh Let's go back there to verse 17. So in in verse 18 we are talking about your spirit connecting with the spirit of God. Now we are back in verse 17 and take the helmet of the salvation and the sword of the spirit which is the word of God. When you pray in supplication and your spirit has connected with the spirit of god now the holy spirit starts giving you the verses the scriptures praise the lord the lord now comes down to give you his words bwana asifiwe kwa nini tunasoma biblia wakati huu ni kwa sababu kuna wale watu ambao mungu alishusha hiyo neno juu yao wakaanza kutuandikia now it's the same with us When we pray and we get deep in the spirit andika mambo Mungu amekuonyesha 
Now, you are not a prophet, but the power of God, the word of God is now upon you. You are now working as a tool of the kingdom. Praise the Lord. When you took salvation, when you received Jesus, there is this connection or disagreement, the vow that you agreed with God. Now, when you start praying, praying is communicating with God. When you start going deep, your spirit starts connecting with the spirit of God. You are now transformed to be. The salvation that you took now, you move to another level. Remember we were saved. Verse 17. Verse 17. Now the sword of the spirit Hapo ndiyo unarusha neno inaweza enda Rwanda bonesa sifiwe to do great work that the moment you pray there is a person getting healed and you are praying in the spirit it's not that you are praying physically maybe you, you wrote some things to pray you are not now using the words you said you wanted to pray but now you are using the words from the holy spirit now that sword in the spirit now starts working. You remember uh, our, our number one was to be like the wind. Ambao shetani hawezi, yama adu hawezi tushika. So unapata wakati, wakati watu umeshika that sword. Kweli the enemy will get you. We've gone to another spiritual realm that the enemy cannot allocate us. That now you go even to the, uh, the kingdoms the spiritual realm katika eneo ya juu unapata kwamba unapambana na adui and then you can see them but they cannot come to you they cannot allocate you praise the lord so the word of god now start dwelling in you unapata let me tell you something brethren and sisters wakati mwingine unajua ukipewa neno la mungu Wacha ile tunasomewa hapa. When the Lord gives you his word direct, that word will never depart from your spirit or your soul. It is written permanently. Praise the Lord. Now this is the word we are talking about. The Lord now comes down, starts telling you, my son, write this down. My son, this is what I want you to do. My son, can you pray for someone with cancer? Hallelujah. So let's go to... Uh, Another verse. Let's read Philippians. Yeye sasa anakuambia mwanangu fanya hivi. He has now given you the word. The prophetic word maybe. Uh, the scripture. Eden unanyamaza. Because now there is a level that you've reached with God. Now you can speak after giving, I want too much for him. Lord, not yet. Until the right time comes that I'll be known that I'm the Lord. Bonesa sefiwe. So, kama Yesu mwenyewe, alikuwa na uwezo wa kukrete. Wakati mwingine unapata umeomba, umepeana, you have given the, the thanksgiving, umeambia mungu juwa wadhi, umeitenda, umemuambia sasa umenitendea, hii kazi ambayo nilikuwa nataka the promotion wakati mwingine unapata majaribu yamekuja do not then start looking back saying that lord i asked that you should give me this your work is now just to keep quiet and wait for the lord to come down and answer your prayer praise the lord it does not matter how long it will take that is where we shall not pray with our understanding or worry about anything. Wakati mingine ukita tu mungu majina mazuri, the Lord will just come down. And most of the time, you find that when you call upon the name of the Lord, kuna wakati in our church, uh, our bishop anapenda sana kuambia watu, receive the Lord has given. Lakini mimi nilipo kuwa naangalia maisha yangu. Nilikuwa naona mimi sifai. 
So nikasema ah, hizo vitu Archbishop anaachilia. Mimi sio wakati wangu sahi. Lakini one day the Lord spoke to me akaniuliza Kwani ni, ni wale watu ambao wame, wame wanazipokea ni kwa sababu wako na kazi. Then one day when Archbishop said receive kuna watu watapata magari chukweni. I changed my mind. I started creating my life. Na wakati mwingine you know sometimes when you have not passed through a lot ni bodesa sifiwe. Nikambia mchukue passport juu ya ndo uchukue driving license ndio naye Mungu akubariki. It is about the heart. How much are you prepared to con- kuomba mambo mingi kanisani? Praise the Lord. Jua jua. Ikaka hapo parking sana. So my husband because he's mostly away akambia akaniambia uh, kuna friend a neighbor friend tena ni nebao nyumbani wamekuwa pamoja atakuja kufundisha driving. Mimi sikuwahi jua in my life kama nitawahi drive gari. And wakati huo mtu alikuja akanifundisha driving. The Lord just the spirit of God came to me nikakuwa na understanding hata ya ku drive. I did not struggle. When I was going to the driving school now to take the driving license. Nilikuwa tunaenda kuchukua hiyo license. Praise the Lord. Na nikaji drive. Na I'm sorry, wacha ni confess. Nilianza ku drive kama sijachukua license. Kwa hivyo nili break the law. But now it God did his connection. Na this car, let me tell you. Nilikuwa nasema wakati Mungu naye akashuka, akapatia my husband two cars. A smaller one Vitz and the Pro Box. Sasa mimi nikambia Mungu, hii Pro Box ndio mzuri nitakuwa nafanyia biashara. Remember me I asked God for the car to go to where? To church. Hiyo gari hata sijaifanya nao biashara. Lakini biashara ya Mungu inafanyanga sana. Na tunaenda niki drive hiyo gari there is something ambao mimi usema sio mimi. Watu kwa church wananiuliza is it you that you can drive like this? It is not me. It is the Lord that made everything to come beautiful at his own time. After I realized it is not about the money that you have in the bank. It is about how much do you want to get for you to have? Pengine ni ploti unataka huku, pengine ni nyumba unataka kujenga. Praise the Lord. It is about how do you connect your spirit with the spirit of God? How much are you ready now to take another step of faith? Bonesa sifiwe. So we've read uh, verse 4, I mean chapter 4 verse 6. Let's go back to uh, verse I mean Daniel chapter 6 verse 10. Hapa Daniel uh, it's all about wakati waliambiwa kwamba hakuna kuabudu Mungu ama mtu yeyote Bwana Yesu asifiwe na ikasemekana kwamba tu ni sanamu tu itaabudiwa Bwana Yesu asifiwe kwa hivyo hakuna wakati sasa wakati ninatafakari this word nilikuwa natafakari ya kwamba hakuna hata <laughs> kuombea president pastor praise the lord to his house and his windows being open in his chamber towards Jerusalem <coughs> he kneeled upon his knees three times a day and prayed and gave thanks before his God, and he did a four time. Bonesa Sifiwe, I want us to talk now about building an altar in our places of work, in our place where you live. Have you built an altar in your house? Kuna wale wanabarikiwa tukienda wakati mingine kufungua nyumba tunakuja maombi ama the sunday service is when you kneel down to pray daniel had already gotten used to praying to god so when the decree came that people should not pray to god or worship any man daniel did not stop praise the lord 
Wakati mwingi tunatafuta Mungu kwa crusade. Tunatafuta Mungu kwa TV. You want to hear that international preacher? But have you build an altar and you into your house? Hivyo ndio mimi huambia wa mama. Na kuna many women have come to me and told me, "Minister, hiyo kitu unasema ina work." The, there was a time I was listening to testimony. Kwa wale ambao wame transform wametoka kwa the kingdom of darkness wakaokoka. And that man was saying, wakati wanaenda shule, they see the Christians that praise, not only Christians, the Christians that praise with their children at home. There's a wall of fire around them. Kweli huyu mama watoto alienda church ndio aweze kuomba watoto mtoto akienda shule. But whenever you take your time and say I'll have an altar in my house that when you kneel down in your house the presence of God comes down. When you go to work hapo kwa desk yako wakati unainama hivi unaambia Mungu ninashukuru umenifikisha salama do you feel the presence of god many times we don't have that time to create an altar in our homes to have time to pray with our children to have time to pray even with the people that in the, are in the house praise the lord na unapata mambo mingi yanafanyika kwa sababu we didn't have our own time. By the way, we cannot come all of us to pass and tell pastor everything. But when you kneel down to God in your house, you can tell God anything and it happens. When you make that altar, Daniel just knelt three times. That is now Old Testament. Maybe that is the how he said i'll be praying to god but the bible says pray without ceasing wakati umekaa kwa hiyo matatu do you call the name of the lord now when you come back to the house je ukifika kwa nyumba wakati umetoka kanisani ndio unapata umekaukiwa ya kwamba now you cannot even uki uwezi yomba unaomba unasikia hapana you cannot even go uh, 2 minutes or 3 minutes but when you build an altar in your house when you get into the house, uh, the door of the church can you imagine how you will make the pastor's work easier yule anaongoza maombi hapo the presence will now come because all of us had already made the ground praise the lord the atmosphere within you yourself you know how to now bring the power of god because wakati uko peke yako unajua utafanya vituko zote. Utasikia ha, hii maombi haiendi. You can talk to God the way you want. Praise the Lord. Na ndio Yesu akasema, ukitaka kuomba uingie katika chumba chako cha siri. Chumba chako cha siri ni kanisani. Ni ile ku watch TV you are watching Benihin. No, it is your your connection with God. It is your kujitolea kutafuta Mungu kwa undani na kuambia Mungu now this house there there are houses you know how to make an altar in your house the lord comes down i have seen that my sisters my brothers that the lord now tells you i need you it is time unajua kuna wakati unaweza ona maybe bishop anataka the bishop have you now made an altar with God that you know when the Lord comes down to speak? Hapo unajua, unasema, I am ready. I'm trying to tell you that because that happened to me. Nikaona our doctor, Edward, akaniambia, nataka kukuangalisha, then akakuwa busy. Na akikuwa busy, unajua kuna watu wengi watasema, mbona nataka kuniangalisha na amekuwa akona kazi mingi. He told me, wait there, I'm coming. Immediately I knew God has come. Then I went to pray in my room. 
and I told God, whatever you want to tell me, I'm ready. Remember, I have an altar in my house where I can call the name of the Lord and he comes down. And the Lord did, that was now on Thursday. The Lord didn't come that day. The following day, now Friday, the Lord came. Na nilikuwa wakati, ilipata kama like two weeks, nimetoka kuambia Dr. Edward, kuna ndoto ninaotanga kama nimevuruta. I know many people knows what I'm talking about. Kakamba, sasa nikamwambia, na hii ndoto imejirudia sana. Many times deliverance you can get by yourself when you know when God wants to speak, speak to you. So wakati niliambia mungu, he didn't come that day, the following day, God came. Nikapelekwa mahali kwa mto. God showed me many things. Then akaniambia, watu wengi wameingia kwa hiyo maji wakidani ni safi, kumbe ni chafu. My willing heart of telling God, come down, I need you. That is in the vision God delivered me. Remember, I didn't go to the, I went to, for the prayers, that thing didn't stop. Now God came in my house when I was alone. And that thing just came out like a balloon. And I've never seen that again. Many times we deliver, how deliverance come to you is how you connect yourself with the Lord. You cannot come and tell pastor, pastor pray for me. And yet, you've not even made an effort on your own to seek the Lord. Praise the Lord. Pengine kuna mambo imekaa kama aisongi. Na pengine, do you know sometimes, hata itaki ukuji hapa uombewe, sitemi kuombewa ni vibaya. But pengine pastor tajaita altar call. The moment he comes or she comes here to stand. Because you are a prayerful person, you have an altar. When the servant of God releases the word, unapatangi mekuja in a way na you are delivered or you are promoted or whatever you needed from God has happened. Praise the Lord. Ni kwa sababu ulikuja uko umejitayarisha. So the work of the pastor is just to confirm. Remember the past point we said about now the Lord giving you the words. Unapata ha? Pastor naya mesoma ile nilikuwa ni mesoma jana. Praise the Lord. Now the word is being confirmed. Because you came prepared. The Holy Spirit has taught you many things. Hallelujah. So when you seek the Lord and you make an altar, Kuna mtu atanza kusema niweke hii kiti ndio nitakuwa nakalia. I'm not speaking about that. I'm talking about praying in your own house. Making God to come in your own house. Wakati wote Mungu anaweza shuka akuambie mtoto wangu nataka nini. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Hebu juu ya time tuende kwa Acts Acts chapter 1. Maybe utaisoma tu badai. But my point is, you will work in one spirit through prayer. That is what I was telling you that when you pray, you make an altar in your... We are in Acts chapter 1 verse 14. You will work in one spirit through prayer. You will get that when you, pr you have prayed much on your own, all of us here will be in one spirit. Wakati tunakuja hapa, maybe chia lady anakuja nasema, tukona project ya kufanya, praise the Lord. Unapata, we don't have to struggle. Because we are now in one spirit through prayers. The spirit that you pray, the spirit that guides you, Guys, the other person, the other person. So when we meet together, we become one. There is no more division. Praise the Lord. Hakuna vile utasema, utoke hapa, sorry. Useme na huyo pastor alikuwa nasema nini. Kwa sababu huku umeshika. Na yule brother, 
alikuja kaniambia word even your brother that is sitting next to you can just come and tell you a word na unasikia the spirit confirms because you are in one spirit now when you come to church the way we are we are being guided to pray intercessory time many things now start changing when we pray together hata yeye mwenyewe anasikia nikisema tuombe hii watu wote wana flow praise the lord praise the lord all of us will flow haleluya ninaendelea kumaliza ndio ninakata kata ah uh, in first kings chapter 8 you will just read it the whole of it inaongea kuhusu the ark the god our lord uh, i mean the covenant with the children of god the high priest praise the lord utaenda kusoma acts chapter uh, first i mean kings chapter 8 so you will read the whole chapter 8 because we don't have the time when you come ready with the spirit of god the glory of god now comes haleluya unapata ya kwamba utukufu wa mungu unajaa mali hapa kwa sababu we were in oneness in the spirit now the glory starts coming there are those people that are, their eyes will be opened they will start seeing angels in the house of god sitaki kuuliza nani ashaiona malaika wakati mwingine unaona kama mist imejaa in the house we have we are now in one spirit we've come to pray in the house of the lord now we see the glory of god coming down when the glory of god comes that sickness that you carry you will not go back with it The glory of God will make us now start our visions will be opened. You will start seeing things that you are not used to see. Praise the Lord. We will start seeing miracles happening. We will start seeing even people coming more because the glory of God is here. The pastor will not work much. Hata wewe ukienda kuhubiria mtu hautachukua hata utasumbuka because you carry that glory. Kweli unaniambia wakati utukufu wa Mungu umeshuka kwa nyumba yake hautabeba uende nayo kwako. You remember Moses had the glory of God. And that is what I normally pray for. Mimi usema at least nisimame kwa giza mtu aniambie eh. Na unangaa Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Hata kama ni dim praise the lord so when we come together in the house of the lord now the glory hakuna siku ataitakosa kushuka kwa nyumba ya mungu when the servants of god stands here hakuna the the atmosphere of the enemy in a disappear by itself hakuna pingamizi itakuja ati kuna mtu ametumwa hapa praise the lord ati ametumwa hapa kufanya kazi kuzuia mtumishi wa Mungu asi deliver the word ati kuzuia wewe usitoke hapa kama umebarikiwa do we come to the house of the lord just to to read the word sing and go back to our homes or houses no we come to the house of the lord to meet with god and the the way because naye Mungu akishuka hapa yenyewe tunaambi wangu na work bishop ya kwamba tutavunja hizi madirisha tukitoroka maybe but the presence of god you will feel it we come to meet with god this is the point where we seek the face of god where we fellowship together praise the lord kwa sababu masaa yangu inaendelea kuisha uh, let us read uh, isaiah 25 isaiah chapter 25 am i helping somebody verse 
O oh Lord, thou art my God, I will exalt you, I will praise your name, for you has done wonderful things. Your counsels of old are faithfulness and truth. There is no day that the counsel of God will expire. The faithfulness of God will never end. The word that God spoke to you, it must come to happen. That is when how you, need, you know how to come with God togetherness. When you connect your spirit with the spirit of God. Hapa ndiyo wakati unapata kwamba, you don't have to pray. Remember when we were starting, I told you there's a time umeish, there's a, unatumia ile maumbi uliko meweka in the store. So, in this verse, maybe I just give someone a testimony. Si tunamonga, sisi siyo yesu, we are still human beings, we pass through a lot. When I, I was about to be ordained, that was now to me, imefika, it was Wednesday to Namkia Thursday. So we were called by the board of the church to come to go interview. So because us uh, with the Charles, our brother Charles, you know him, he once preached here, but the, God did a miracle. I took it to an interview ya, ya the board of church, yani ya CFF, entire CFF now. We were called, sisi tulipita to interview. When the time has come, sisi ya took it interview, kwa sabu kwanza yu interview likuwe nalipwa. Sisi ya took ulipa kitu. But sasa tikafika, tunaitwa na board of the church. So, the, the night... Now, now that is uh, Thursday. Tukaitwa. Na me I was panicking like, watu kuitwa ile interview, the main interview. Inezekana kuamba, tumeitwa kuambi watu taudeniwa. Asa hiyo watu wamesha changa pesa ni metumia. That Wednesday, amba Thursday morning, people came in my house. In the night. Na wakaniambia, uh, maybe a Sunday night, I let you and I join by Angu Villena Kites between the kitchen, bedroom, and sitting room. A Kanyambia, what were Fusana? Dark people. What were very ugly? A Kanyambia now to make a Jacob defile. It is something that was real. I was calling my husband. Deadan, Deadan, how what to make a my husband was sound asleep, did not hear me. I want to tell you about praising God in prayers. So, nikaona hapa niko peke yangu. Na ni watu hata sijawahi ona in my life, very ugly people, very dark, black. So, na walikuwa ready, three people. So wakati niliona hapa niko peke yangu, my husband is, cannot hear me. Wimbo ilikuja. You are my strong tower, Jesus. Whenever I call your name, you'll make a way. Praise the Lord. Niliimba hiyo wimbo, hawa watu wakayeyuka kama upepo. Sometimes when you are in the spirit, the song will come down to you and will deliver you. You don't even have to pray now to quote the scripture. Scripture metoka opisa hiyo akuna. But now the Lord gives you a song that will make you overcome. Bonesa sifiwe. That song that you sing, si kuna mtu ashe ya muka subi unasikia the song sings in your spirit. Unasikia tu kuirudia. Kuirudia. The relationship you made with God, now it comes down. You pray to God. You give thanks through that song. Na unapata hiyo wimbo kumbe ilikuwa ni prayer for the day. So when I prayed that prayer, I sang that song. Izo vitu zilienda kama, ziliayuka tu kama snow, zikapotea. So when we went to the board, something happened. 
and I remembered. If not for God to come in the altar of my house, singe odeniwa. Sasa ukisha defileiwa na the power of the enemy, will you be ordained? They have defiled you. But I thanked my God and I said, kama singe kuwa nimeweka Mungu kwa nyumba yangu wakati wote. And let me tell you something brother and sister. Wakati wote unaona unashindwa kwa maono, you still have a long way to pray to connect with God. Hautashindwa kwa maono, then you come here and tell pastor pray for me. Ataomba nini na ulishashindwa in the vision? Praise the Lord. You cannot defeat the enemies physically when he defeated you spiritually. Remember I talked about connecting our spirit with the spirit of God. Transforming from being a physical body to the spiritual body. Masa yangu imeisha. Tutaonana siku ingine. Tupue watu ambao tunapenda maombi. You don't have to shout. You don't have to kneel down somewhere. Hata sahi kuna watu kama you are an intercessor in this church. You can just be seated like that. Bishop is preaching. You are interceding. Because you know how to connect your spirit. You know how to listen to the word and still talking to God. Praise the Lord. Tuombe pamoja. And maybe there is this person amba wanataka kwamba Mungu I want to build an altar in my house. Lord, I want my spirit always to connect with your spirit whenever I pray. Maybe we know tumkono, tuombe pamoja na Mungu atakutendea. Unasema mimi nataka Mungu anitembele kwa nyumba yangu. Nataka wakati wote nikipiga maguti yangu, wakati wote ninaita, ina, ninaita jina la Yesu, Mungu anashuka. Ino mkono wako tuombe pamoja. Baba yetu uliye binguni katika jina la Yesu Kristo. Even me Lord I'm lifting my hand before the Lord, you Lord. Because I know it is never enough to seek you Lord. Lord, we pray today that you may give us the spirit to know you more and more. To know you much deeper, Lord. Father, Lord, there are those that are raising their hands, Almighty Father. To you, Lord, that you may uh, come down in their houses. They are experiencing bad dreams, Lord. They are going through a lot in their homes, oh my Father. I pray, Lord, that you may come down and make covenant with them in their homes. In the name of Jesus Christ. Lord, as you did to your people, God, according to the time of the Bible, my Father, we know you are the still God, the same yesterday, today, and forever. May you come down into our houses, Lord. May you come down in our spirits, oh Lord. May our spirits connect with your spirit, my Father. Lord, we want to know you more. May you intercede in us, almighty Father. Fill us with more tongues, Almighty Father. More gifts, Almighty Father, in the name of Jesus Christ. Wewe ndiye Mungu ambaye unastahili. 